assistance to Iris. She's in there with him now, however I suggest you don't disturb her. Oh, I, I, I wouldn't agree well, but I'll just, uh, I'll wait for her in Alex's sitting room. Uh, better still, why don't I just tell you to drop by, that way you won't have to wait around. You're trying to get rid of me? I wouldn't put it that way. I know you've had a rough time of it, Brian, but don't take it out on me. I'm not responsible for Alex's stroke. I'm just here to be of help. Well, thank you, Justin, but I don't need it. Oh, but you may. Now that you're new we head of world oil, and I'm here to tell you I'll, I'll be of any assistance that I can be. Well, great, but I'm only in charge temporarily until Alex recovers. Yes, I realize that. But I'll tell you what, Justin, if you really do want to be of assistance, you could put a hold on that oil exploration project of yours, you know, the one out of the Harper Ranch. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry it's too late. Bye-bye. Is starting the geological survey this afternoon. Oh, no, 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 it could wait until Alex recovers. I bet you old uh, Bubba wouldn't mind postponing under the circumstances, right? I hope that by the time Alex recovers, that world oil has discovered a new source of oil and is well into production. Under your supervision, right? But yes, I do have Alex's blessing, taking charge of this new department. And I hope that... Uh, I can work very closely with you if you'll allow me. You do, huh? Oh, absolutely. Still, I intend to see that this project is developed my way. It's my baby. Now, if you can accept those facts, I think we'll get along just fine. Dr. Walker, please see. Excuse me. Person who's seen Alex other than family. Thank you for letting me go in. I don't like leaving him long. I won't take much of your time, and I'm sorry to bother you at all at this time. You must know that I will do anything I can to help Alex. Anything at all. I know that, Iris. What is it you want to know? I have to know every detail of what happened the night that Dennis says that he killed Chris Shaw. Dennis did not kill Chris Shaw. My son is not capable of such a thing. Iris, we're all capable of murder. I'm telling you, he didn't do it. Another question altogether. Question? How can you act as Dennis's lawyer if you have any question at all about his innocence? Iris, Dennis has told me that he killed Chris Shaw. I have to believe him, accept it as fact, and build my case from there. But it's nonsense. Dennis believes it's the truth. He doesn't know what the truth is. He was falling down drunk. Did he tell you how drunk he was? He wasn't too drunk to drive to your house. Drunk? Right. If he was aware enough to drive to your house, he had to be aware of the truth of what happened that evening. I understand what you're saying. But, Stryker, isn't your one job at that trial to clear Dennis's name? Yes, of course. But it isn't going to be easy. The way he pleaded, Dennis has uh, confessed to the police. He thinks he killed Chris Shaw. He won't retract the confession. The best I can hope for is a manslaughter charge. What does that mean? Manslaughter means it was not premeditated. I'm going to plead that Dennis was 
angry, drunk, and a fight, and uh, Chris was killed during the fight. What do you think the judge will be manslaughter? I don't know. The DA tells me he's going to go for a first-degree murder in the Shouldn't even be talking about sentencing, because then it should not be charged with anything. <laughs> first-degree murder. Why on earth would the DA even consider first-degree murder? Because evidence had been tampered with at the scene of the crime. What? Now, the charge would have most certainly been manslaughter, except for the fact that Dennis wiped his fingerprints off the paperweight that we used to kill Chris Shaw. I, I don't understand. That's the reason the DA is going for a first-degree murder charge, because Dennis tried to conceal the evidence. Now, if Dennis had killed Chris in a fit of rage, that's one thing, but to try to conceal the evidence, that makes it something different. It looks like the murder is premeditated. Stryker, are, are you saying that the, the police think this, uh, this, this paperweight was the murder weapon? Mm -hmm. How can they know that for sure? Well, for one thing, it would be beside the body, but the most convincing thing, there wasn't any prints on it. But obviously, like that would have prints all over it. It had been wiped clean. I see. Want something wrong? No. You feel uh, up to answering a few questions? No. I have to know everything Dennis said or did the night he came to your house. Because he's drunk, Dennis' uh, descriptions are rather vague. I'll tell him. Thank you. 